Hi everyone, I thought I'd uh, show you a little video about how to get children to write. And we're going to use uh, a couple of simple resources. Uh, we're going to have our magnetic letters and we've got a board that's also magnetic. And then we just need a, a simple dry white pen. So I'm going to take you through the stages. And this, this is really important that you make sure that your child is, is pretty confident at re reading sort of simple CBC words. Um, and so when they get to that point, we're going to build on that reading and get them to start to do writing. So the first journey is really simple. So with your magnetic letters, you model, and you need to be able to do your pure sounds. You go, k, a, t, and then you let your child do it. So we haven't said the, 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 what that word is. So the child will then go, k, a, t, and you praise them. And obviously the next step would be quite simple. You would take it and you go, k, a, cat and then notice I'll go left to right so the child will do exactly the same cat and then say cat hopefully to move it on from there when they get really really confident at that we're just going to model it up a little bit and we're going to go you're going to go first ah k ah ah there's ah t cat so the slight variation is that things are going to be uh, jumbled up a little bit um, and then obviously you'd, you'd, you'd let your child have a go at that as well if they get it wrong all we do reset the tiles and you show them again k -a -t, cat okay so and then when we build on from there so we've got obviously we're getting to a point where we can we can make a uh, cat we can then say let's have a go at writing cat um, and we can concentrate on on writing now if they're not very good at a uh, and you get something like probably something like that craziness so what we need to do is come up with a little saying really and your your child's school's probably got some but if, if they're not in school you'll need to sort of talk about it so we're going to go around and this is what children find difficult going to the left around up and down and what you might get them to do is write lots and lots of the same letter over and over again and it might be that they start nice and big it might be that they have to do it in the air with their finger. Lots and lots of that. Then we'll come back to this and we can have a go at that. And what we're doing at the minute is we're, we don't have to worry about how to spell and write cat. We've done that. We're now only concentrate on letter formation. Okay. So we, we've written cat. Now moving on from there. Um, let's. This is the, the next stage that, that I do with, the, with my daughter. So... And again, you, you, you build this up as, they, as they're getting more and more confident. So you keep it simple for a good few sessions, only using CVC words that they're used to, mixing it up, and then beginning to write. So this is what I do uh, to mix things up. I put in a few um, random letters. And before we think about the letters, I tell them that they're going to need three fingers. Okay? And they're going to need three fingers. And they pinch each finger for a sound. So, right, we're going to be writing cat. What do we need? And they hold up their fingers, and then you show them first, and you pinch, you pinch your finger, k, a, t, left to right, cat, k, a, t, cat. And then you have to let your child have a go at that, and sometimes you need to support them to be able to hold up three fingers. So they, they pinch their fingers for all of the sounds left to right, and then you bring them to the board and say, okay, let's have a go at writing cat. Now, if they're confident, you don't need to model. You can just let them have a go. Can they pull out the letters because they're all hidden in here somewhere? K -a -t cat. So they can start to write that. Get these out of the way. And again, have a go at writing cat. Okay. And then the next step beyond all these mixed mixed letters is to pinch fingers like we just did and then write it. So we wouldn't need our magnetic letters. So we would say, right, we're going to write the word hen. What do we need? H -e Mm, hen. Right, let's have a go at writing hen. If they can't do it straight onto the board as writing, we would just go back a step. We'd hide hen within the letters and see if we can pull out hen. And then we can have a go at writing it using the tiles to support us. So that's a simple step-by-step -step approach to getting children to begin to write. It's nice and supportive and builds on their reading. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye.